Hello and Namaste to every students for today's session. As we are going for social studies session today along with the students from grade 6. And in earlier class, we have talked about one of the most important focus topic of social studies related to unit first. Today, applying the same unit are going through the same unit, we are going for another one more lessons that is also most important to each and every people, not only to the students. The knowledge required to the people related to this topic is very important. So, I would like to expose today's topic for grade 6 student that is our infrastructure of development health. Remember children, in the earlier class, going backward, we have talked about the importance of education, which was also taken was as one of the most important infrastructure of development. But beside that, the basic focus of each and every student should go to today's topic that is related to health. Health is the most important factors of every human being. Healthy people, absence of diseases and being alive and even we also can say that health is wealth. If there is good health, then we can get a lot. Not only in the same single sectors, like we were talking about education, education also would be possible if there was good health. So that we are focusing on today's discussion on our health which is also taken as one of the most important infrastructure of development and in today's class we are going for finding the definitions of health given in a different way beside that we also will be talking about the importance of health then the safety measures to remain healthy beside that the problem of health sectors in our country and even emphasizing the problem only will not be the solution. So, we will be talking about some possible or suitable solution measures on also in today's class. Beside that, if we get the sufficient time, we will be going for finding some of the different part that is regarding the health, health facilities available in our country the different data we will be exposing in today's class. So now let's try to explore what is health. Simply means or the general definition of health is the well-being that is physically, mentally or socially. If we don't have any pain in our body that means it's also called health or we are healthy. The next one, if we are mentally free, we, if we do not have stress or if we do not have any kind of anxiety or fear or afraidness, then that is also called the health, healthy well-being. If we have very good relation among the people in the society, if we do not have any misconception and if we do not have any misunderstanding, then also we can say that it is also called healthy. Health simply means the state of being alive too. So now let us find out what is the common definition provided to us in today's class. So let us see in your slide as well what is health, the condition of being physically, socially and mentally fit is called health. But we do have our international organization which works specially for health. We have heard about it a lot these days regarding the removal, regarding the causes and precaution measures of COVID-19 that is WHO. -O. World Health Organization. World Health Organization gives a bit different definition of health. 
let us find out their health is the state of being or sta state of complete physical, mental and social well being not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Here now we are going for focusing the meaning of infirmity at first before finding other different things to be mattered. Here infirmity means condition of being sick. You can find out the definition given by World Health Organization its WHO. Health is the state of being or state of complete physical, mental and social well-being, not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. That is called health. So, dear children, health simply means it is our condition, the condition of our body condition of our mind, our brain, condition of our social relations or the condition which we are bearing as the social animals or social beings that is called health. Then now children, we just have to find out why is health important. Let us find out why is it important why we are giving significant focus on health only. So, let us see there in your TV screen the importance of health as well. The first importance that you can find it as creates happiness. If we do not have any trouble, if we do not have any sickness, if we do not have infirmity in our body, if there is no any presence of diseases inside our body or mentally if we are not having any kinds of stress or if we do not have any misunderstanding among the people in the society then that means we are healthy. In a sense if we do not have anything to be taken as the problem then we will be happy as well. So that the first importance we have got there is creates happiness. The next one you can see there it creates productivity. If we are healthy, if we do not have any problems in our body, even in our mind, even in the society then obviously we will be energetic, we will be active, we will be creative and creative people always creates or always produce some kinds of good result. They will be working well for finding some kinds of livelihood. They will be generating the different ideas how to work well or how to get the easy way of working. So, these are the ways by which we can prove the health as the most important factors to create the productivity. The next one is there we have creates better thinking, perform better and contributes more towards the development. If we do not have to think or if we do not have any kinds of negativity, no problem, no stress, no anxiety, no fear then what happens there? We start thinking good. Even the bad things also will be seen with the good eyes if we do not have any problems in us. The next one, if we do not have any kinds of disturbance or any kinds of infirmity then what would happen there? We may be or we will be starting to think for our betterment. How do we go forward? In the first part, you might have learned the importance of health that is creates happiness. Happy body, happy mind that creates the different ways of thinking. So, we do not have any problem at all and which also helps in contribution to the development of the society, development of 
their one that is personal development, social development and even national development also will be possible if the people are healthy. Like in the beginning I said that if we don't have any stress or if we don't have any infirmity in our body then we will be energized for doing the things better. We will be doing the work actively. Like for example if we have road construction going on in our village or in our society. So at that time if we are healthy, if we don't have any stress or if we are mentally well or if we have very good relation with the society people then what would have happened there? We would be easily going for the active participation for that developmental work. We can contribute, we easily go to contribute our participation so as to construct the road easily because one hand may not be sufficient for development. There will be so many hands like you might have heard one hand will not be possible for us to clap. We need two hands. So to produce something new, to produce something good we need lots of hands that is what we can call the cooperation. So that will be possible or the co contribution to the development of the nations of the society and even of the personal development also will be possible if we have healthy mind, healthy body and healthy social relations. Is it fine? Okay, now we are moving to the next one. We are talking a lot about what is health, what are the importances of health or significance of health. But obviously we will have some of the measures to remain healthy, to observe the things better, to grab the things in a different way, to create the happiness, to create the better thinking and to create the productivity what are the measures to be applied because obviously good health should be there and what are the measures to remain good health or healthy body that we will find out. So now let us check out in your slide as well. The first one to be healthy we know that water is the most important nutrients for us. It is the fluid but also we need it a lot. Whenever we get any kinds of dis diseases, firstly the doctor prescribes to drink a lot of water because half of our disease will be recovered or will be reduced by the help of water itself. So use a pure and clean drinking water is the most which is the first and foremost single measures to remain healthy. The next one you can go and check it in number 2, eat balanced diet. Water only will not provide everything what our body needs as well it is the important part but beside that the different growth, different hormones inside our body needs to be grown and the functioning should be done. The different functions are there, the different systems are there all together you might have learned the nine different systems going on in our body. Those all the systems work by the help of balanced diet too. Balanced diet consists of different nutrients, the food containing the different nutrients like vitamins, minerals, fats, iron, water that is minerals itself. So these are the things even carbohydrates and proteins. So these all the nutrients are required for our body to remain healthy so that we are talking about their importances or their them as these measures to remain healthy after drinking pure and clean water. The next one you can see there it is keep surrounding clean. 
sanitation and cleanliness they are the most important factors of for each and every one to remain healthy our food and our clean drink, drinking water gives the different measures or gives the different energies in our body to grow to remain healthy but beside that when we breathe the outer air goes to our body and we exhale the carbon dioxide from our body so at that time if our surrounding is smelly if our surrounding is polluted then what would happen the balanced diet that we have eaten or taken the clean and pure drinking water that we have drunk they all would be worthless because at that time when we breathe the polluted air or dirty air then those all the darts go goes inside our body and then it is starts creating the germs it is starts creating the different types of diseases so the combination of each and everything should be balanced drinking water clean and pure eating balanced diet that is what we need and maintaining the sanitation and cleanliness of our surrounding like cleaning our room itself that is the first and foremost thing that we have to do for our personal hygiene or for our personal health cleaning our surrounding that is for the social social sanitation and cleanliness beside that adopting ourselves or participating ourselves in the cleanliness program occurred in the different areas of our country that is the most for the cleanliness of our nation so that also has to be managed there the next one is there avoid harmful habit smoking drinking alcohol chewing tobacco taking drugs etc they are not beneficial for our health if we drink clean water if we eat balanced diet if we get fresh air through the personal health or personal cleanliness and sanitation and maintaining the sanitary environment or clean environment will only be possible if we stop drinking alcohol if we stop smoking if we stop taking drugs because they all have the same kinds of combination through which our body will be healthy the next one is there keep oneself physically fit those earlier ways or measures makes our body physically fit beside that mentally also we will be fit and fine and that is the safety measures to remain healthy as well and it's at last but not the least make use of available health resources like you will be asked you will be suggested timely about the regular health checkup about the different measures about the precaution so these all the things should be managed and even sometimes if you need some kinds of medicine not in an overdose way but sometimes to remove our difficulties we also have to take some kinds of medicine but preferably we need to go for maintaining all those measures to remain healthy as well now we are going to the problems of health sectors in our country what do we get what difficulties are there in our countries regarding or on behalf of the health sectors the first one lack of hospitals health post and sufficient availability of experienced doctors in rural areas generally the doctors nurses and other different medical workers they prefer to remain in the city area rather than going to the rural villages lack of necessary tools and medicines that is the problem in all over the country and specially to the rural areas even the hospitals health posts 
are also not available. So, obviously, we could not get or we could not believe that the tools will be available there. The problem related to the health sectors, the third one we have due to the lack of education and awareness, people in the backward rural areas prefer to go to the witch and wizard doctors that is Dhami Dhakri instead of visiting the doctors for their treatment. Still we do have that problem of believing, trusting and having faith on witch and wizard doctor in order to remove or in order to cure our diseases. But beside pointing out the problems only will not give sufficient result. So, let us find out what could be the solution measures to control or to remove the problems which we have in the health sectors. You can get there. That is the first one, launching health awareness programs in rural areas, especially we have mobile health camps, mobile health camps related to the camps which are conducted from one place to another place, not only the single place. After completing this slide, you can check it in the word meaning as well. The next one, health post and health centers should be established in all the parts of the country. Then doctors, nurses, primary health workers should be mobilized throughout the country and another solution also can be available there. Doctors should be motivated to work even in the remote areas. Not only they should be fascinated to the city areas or in the urban areas, they should be motivated from which means they can be that should be done from the every sectors. And some more we have blood donation programs and mobile health camps should be conducted regularly. Mobile health camps again and again we have been repeating the same words that is the most effective way of treating or awakening the people about their good health especially in remote villages. In urban areas, most of the people get the well fa health facilities through any means and in an easy way, but in remote areas, this mobile health camp would be the most effective part of the treatment. You can go for medias like radio, TV, newspapers, social medias and magazines should be used to aware the people that also could be the most important part for awakening the people and making them realize that health is the most. Here we go for another one, health education should be made compulsory in school level curriculum. School level curriculum, you can check it there, all the courses of studies offered by the educational institute. If the students are aware about their health, aware about the importance of health and the different safety measures to be applied for their healthy living, then that would go last longer to the end of their life. They can aware other people. So, from the early age of the students or of the people, they should be managed or the health education should be given to the students. So, that we are talking about school curriculum. So, these are the different parts that we were able to expose or explore in today's class. Hopefully, all the students in today's class, they enjoyed getting or acquiring lots of knowledge regarding the health, importance of them, how to remain healthy, the problems related to health sectors in Nepal and the solution measures what can be done in order to remove or in order to reduce the problem of health sectors. So, hopefully the students will be making the note of this all the topics and subtopics of today's classroom and at the end of today's session I would like to wish for your healthy body and healthy mind as well because we learn today how to remain healthy and how to make ourselves healthy. So, thank you so much for today for joining us.